This video is sponsored by Carnivore Companion. So my biggest issue with the carnivore diet has to be the thing with textures. You get a lot of good chewy textures and not that many like creamy or crunchy textures. You're very limited to, to what you can make crunchy, what you can make creamy. And one of those things that I really like that I miss a lot is mayonnaise. And this is just a PSA if you're eating mayonnaise. Please eat high quality avocado oil mayonnaise. Even then, just, just be aware that those oils may not actually be what they say on the label. And if you're eating just regular mayonnaise uh, and you don't want to change, I highly recommend you take a good quality omega-3 supplement in the form of fish oil or krill oil because the, the issue with all these seed oils is that they're highly highly processed uh, you can find stuff with with organic canola oil and things like that like cold press non-heated oils like that but as far as getting mayonnaise like that i don't think i've ever seen it personally but if you're gonna do that i it, i would say make it yourself know what's in it know that none of the stuff's been highly refined and you might be okay but honestly i think the best course of action is just to avoid it completely the issue is it tastes good. It tastes really good, actually. It's very fatty, it's very creamy, and it's tangy. And I think I've found the solution to mayonnaise for the carnivore diet. If you've seen my recipe for deviled eggs, I've made a few now. But I did one for the Thanksgiving season where it was cream cheese and sour cream. Now, these together work amazingly. Here's my thinking. Sour cream, it's creamy and it's tangy, but it doesn't have much fat in it. Even though it's tangy, it's still very soft on the palate. Cream cheese, heavy, it's it's very fatty, not necessarily soft, it's not tangy really, but I think whenever you combine these two together, you get something honestly that I think is better than mayonnaise. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I've been doing to make this. I haven't really posted about it much because I haven't really been eating much dairy lately, but today I'm gonna make this for people looking for a good alternative to something that tastes even better than mayonnaise. Let's make it real quick. In a blender or food processor, you're going to want to add in one pound of sour cream and eight ounces of cream cheese. This is always going to be a two to one ratio, so if you don't want to make as much as I'm making in this recipe, feel free to adjust it. To this, add the juice of one whole lemon. Try to avoid getting the seeds in there. They don't taste very good. Follow that up with a half teaspoon of fine salt and finally one quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic. Pop the lid on and get to blending and scraping, 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 blending and it's done. It really is that simple. The longer this sits, the better it tastes. In fact, I highly recommend letting this set up in the fridge for at least a half hour before using it to let the flavors marry. Now that we have our replacement mayo, I'm gonna show you how to make some replacement ranch. To a bowl, add in a half cup of your not mayo, follow it up with a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth teaspoon of black pepper, a half teaspoon of granulated onion, a half teaspoon of dried dill, one tablespoon of dried chives, and finally one quarter teaspoon of granulated garlic. Give that a passionate whisking until it's nice and homogenous. Best thing about this is that it's nice and light and still gives you a punch of flavor. Maybe instead of not mayo, I'll call it mayo punch. Hope you all enjoyed. See y'all next time. Check out our newly released seasoning steak dust along with our flagship seasoning smokestack and our bestseller tuck collagen. Use the code CCU210 at carnivorecompanion.com to save 10% off your first order.